my wife booked this forestry house in the middle of the forest. It's a quaint 1900s manor, lots of history. Talk about false advertising. You know, we've already established that people don't communicate super well all the time, right? But I really would have appreciated the honesty of being told we were about to stay in a murder cabin. <laughs> I am not kidding. This thing had an unexpected second floor. When's the last time you booked a place and found out it had an extra floor? On this second floor, there are three bedrooms. In each bedroom is a single bed and a few children's toys. And I'm not talking about Barbies and Hot Wheels and Playstations, guys. I'm talking about old time, creepy doll, Titanic debris field kind of stuff. Everybody's on edge, right? I'm brushing my teeth in the bathroom and I look in the mirror and behind me in the mirror, I see this wall panel that's kind of just ajar. And I don't want to look, I don't want to look, but I have to, I have to see what's behind that for my family's sake. So this is true. I pry open this panel and there's this cavity in the wall. And inside is a single dead mouse and get this, a makeshift bed. I am freaking out. <laughs> but my family can't know because that would just be, it would just be pandemonium. Um, so all of a sudden, yeah, I put on a brave face. All of a sudden I'm super interested in things like the history and the architecture of this magnificent structure. I'm like, wow, these walls could talk, huh? My wife's not buying it. She's like, I don't know about talk, but that one's bleeding. And you know, ordinarily, like any good red-blooded Texan, I would be concealed carrying my AR-15 in my special pants leg. Not today, Britain. You know, just in case there's like one of those like one if by land, two if by sea sort of situations, you never know when that's gonna happen, right? But here's a problem. Our final destination is British Columbia. For some reason, they don't take kindly to armed Americans in their country, go figure. So I crawl into bed with the best weapon I can find, just happens to be my wife's toenail clippers with a little flip out nail file. Not tonight, please God. Not tonight. I start thinking about Skinwalker Ranch. Any of you guys seen that show? Anybody? I'm like, hey, once they find out it's an alien base underground. Come on, you guys all know that's what it is. Uh, I think they should do a special on Murder House, right? And I must have fallen asleep because then I had a dream where Travis Taylor, the astrophysicist from Skinwalker Ranch, actually does investigate Murder Cabin. He was like, I could not figure out why my sphygmomanometer was pegging out, reading off the chart levels of ectoplasm in this house. So we decided the thing to do was to get Brandon on the horn, get permission to dig a hole. Because if you've ever watched Skidmarker Ranch, that's what they do when they're out of ideas. They dig a hole. You know, they've got Brandon. He's the multi-million dollar and uh, multi-millionaire investor who's like bankrolling the whole operation. He's just trying to get his safety guy, Dragon, to buy off on the whole idea of digging. Dragon, what say you? Shall we dig? Poor dragon. Don't put this on me, man. Every time Travis digs a hole, Satan claims another cow for the underworld. It's not safe. All the scientists giving dragon like the, the side eye. They're all annoyed, He's standing in the way of progress. You know, dragon, sometimes I just think you don't care about science. Thankfully, I woke up before they dug a hole and the aliens drained them of all their blood. 